Getting back to the hip hop shit though. Let's finally talk about this nigga Fanthony Antenna. The hip hop <laughs> <laughs> busiest music nerd. Fanthony. I, yeah, I'm like, what the fuck, man? Did you mean I, I said that on purpose. Nigga, it's Fanthony <laughs> and, Antenna. Yeah, I said that on purpose. Oh wow. All bullshit aside though. So let me let me really start with him. I don't have an issue with Anthony at all. And I definitely, definitely respect that nigga's work ethic. Cause it ain't just hip hop, bro. That nigga be listening to folk music, <laughs> any type of music, nigga. That's that shit is actually uh impressive. The only thing I have, which isn't an issue against him, it's just how niggas react to his appearance. They hold that nigga appearance like it's gospel, bro. A nigga would really look at the album coming out. They'd be like, you know what? Let me let me let me check out that album. I want to see what this artist coming out with nowadays. They'll see Fantano put out a review who called it whack. They'll be like, shit. Well, Anthony Fantano called it a four out of ten. I don't know if I want to listen to it anymore. I'm like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, bro, that's the shit minded, that I hate. Bro. That's the shit that I hate. I mean, you gotta blame some of that on how this generation is because again, how can a nigga like six nine become big without you know the manipulation of how this generation's minds work? These niggas will tag along to anything that sounds controversial. Like Gully Boy said, negativity is what gets all the attention. So mm-hmm. if if you got Fantano coming out the what works, if everyone loves Logic's album, he says it's trash. Oh, all of a sudden everybody's like, oh, okay, well something's gotta be special about your opinion. I can respect. Uh, um, Fantano and his individuality but like you said he listens to all sorts of music but a guy like Sean C also does the same thing where he can listen to a bunch of music and his opinion genuinely sounds like his opinion and he doesn't give a shit no one can really make a difference between how you know genuine Fantano really sounds because it, it does kind of seem like he does drum shit up for some sort of buzz so he he'll he'll fuck with logic one day and then tomorrow it'd be like, uh, this is the corniest motherfucker I've ever heard. Like you know what I'm saying? And it'll all come off. And then and then he'll go right to Twitter talking about some my opinions, my opinion. Don't fight me on it. If everyone if, if, if every if everyone agrees with this nigga, he's fine with that. He's okay with it. You know what I'm saying? He'll shut the fuck up. He doesn't pay no mind to nobody. If the first nigga, the first nigga. One uh, a comment, one second ago in the comment section talking about some, you know what you're talking about. That nigga rushes right to Twitter talking about some, y'all are bullying me. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, that's the type of shit that nigga could be doing. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, I, I didn't fucking, know that either. I didn't, I didn't know. know that, bro. <laughs> he's, a, he, he, he's steady. He's steady fucking complaining, talking about some, my opinion is my opinion. And, and, and it's true, but here's. But no, he beef. actually be like, uh, like niggas say, bro, you your opinion he'd be like bro he really be going back and forth with motherfuckers he don't he don't go back and forth he will really just uh comment and bulk but here's my problem with the motherfuckers <laughs> who say here's comment my here's my yeah, bro, here, i ain't never heard that shit <laughs> he'll, he'll come at he'll he'll make one comment and direct it towards a whole bunch of niggas pretty much so um damn so he'd be like adding like 30 niggas <laughs> nah he won't he won't add them he'll just send out a tweet and i guess them niggas don't know who they are i guess so and he'll screenshot um, a comment on the video or some shit. <laughs> he is the type of nigga to do that and fucking make it his damn profile or uh yeah, his profile picture and make it his wallpaper on his phone and shit. Remind himself <laughs> in the morning. I gotta I gotta I gotta reply to this nigga. Like, you know. So here's my beef with the motherfuckers who say shit like um opinions don't matter or opinions do matter and shit like that. Your opinion stop mattering when you say ignorant shit. When you start saying shit like, um, you know, uh, oh, uh, 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 Logic is less skilled than Nav or some shit like that, or, or uh, fucking Lil Pump is more skilled than J. Cole. When you start saying shit like that, well, how much does your opinion matter? What the you fuck to... is that shit? <laughs> it, just, it, just, for, just verbatim. Oh, just you know what I'm saying? Example. Yeah, I thought you would have yeah. said like Anthony Fantano said this shit. No, no, no. But he is the type of nigga to, to do that, to try to stand out, which is fucked up because um, these fans out here nowadays are fucking sheep. And I, it's, it's a shame to say I got to go on my negative shit now. I'm trying to be positive, but fuck that shit. Niggas are sheep. <laughs> n- n- seriously, niggas are sheep. I go to a I'm Dante stream. As soon as I, I, I seen him listening to uh, the YBN Amir Soul Train shit, and everyone was spamming L, 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 L. You know what I'm saying? This is trash. This is terrible. I'm Dante cut on his fucking his microphone and cut on his uh, auto-tune. This nigga started singing the trashiest shit ever. 
W's, 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 all around. Niggas, niggas hopping on his dick. If it had sounded bad, they wouldn't have let him know that shit for real. Because I mean, that's, just... that's basically just how it is. Like, just like with Anthony Fantano, if, 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 if he got a fan base like that, like, that's just how certain fans are. Like, everything you say is gold to them. It don't matter what the fuck you're talking about. That's just how a lot of fans is. But I'm pretty sure he got some people in the comment section that be like, nah, my nigga, you, tri- you tripping. But the that's just how it is. Yeah. The sad part is he wouldn't even call them niggas fans because you got to suck his dick 24-7 to be a fan of him. The niggas that call him out, they're, they're apparently not real fans and they don't fuck with him. That's why I can fuck with my fan base, or I don't even call it fan base, my subscriber base so much. There's niggas that don't agree with me, and I can go back and forth with them, and then they'll be watching my videos tomorrow, and it's all right. It's okay. It's, it's cool. Like it generally seemed like these yeah. I don't watch. Stand. I don't watch Anthony Fantano that that deep to to actually like know what he doing, what he don't do. So I really can't comment. Yeah, I didn't know he'd be on that shit at all. <laughs> yeah, I, I really can't. I really can't. You know, comment on his fans or no shit like that because he want he he one of them people that I watch occasionally. I don't. I'm not, oh, shit, Anthony Fantano just uploaded. I'm not watching everything he dropped because, like Amir said, he covers more than just rap. I don't listen to punk music and all that shit. So, yeah. I don't know. But the again, last, I think the last fucking video I watched of, of his is when that nigga reviewed that Lil B mixtape, Platinum Flame. Like, he's the only nigga that I would <laughs> see. the only nigga that had to review some shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only fucking that's the and that shit can that shit was back in like twenty eighteen or some shit. Yeah. yeah truth he, be told, I he, don't even um uh when it like back to the uh Fantano shit and when it comes to niggas just taking his opinion for gospel, I don't even like when people like try to do that shit with me. Like if a nigga told me that he fucked with a song but then he heard me like give my opinion on it and he stopped fucking with it, I'll be like, nah bro, <laughs> don't let yeah, what I say make you stop fucking with the song. Yeah, that's that's stupid as hell, bro. Because Funny. I like a, I like a lot of obscure shit that a lot of people think whack. Nigga, you not finna change my opinion just because you think this shit is whack. I like this shit. Like, and that's how it should be. <laughs> Shouldn't nobody change, be able to change your opinion. Like, you got a favorite album and then this nigga review the album. This shit whack. Oh, I can't listen to it no more. Nigga, what? Nigga, what? <laughs> that shit went from my favorite album of all time to not even top 50. To the worst <laughs> album ever. Like, what the fuck on, man? If you like this shit, nigga, then you like it. You got damn me. What? What's wrong with that? No, that's crazy. I literally, not too long ago, I mean, whatever the last time I was on Twitch, it's been a minute, but uh, I was listening to Comethazine's Bosky 4 album. And oh, that nigga right there is one of the most repetitive niggas ever. I, ooh, I literally said that, bro. I literally said so. That's how I, I heard a song from him. I was like, this shit hard. Let me check out it. It's the whole damn album is that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, he from, and he from the loo. And he from the loo. Like, nigga, nah, nigga. He definitely is a really good rapper. But again, like you said, he's super repetitive. And the fact that you, is, that's the first thing you said about him. Literally the same thing I said about him during the shit. I was getting pissed off listening to more songs because the first two songs was hard as shit. I'm like, yeah, you come into Zeno where I was fucked. We going further into this shit, and he's literally still talking about skeeting on bitches' faces and fucking killing niggas. I'm like, bro, I'm like, how many, niggas, how many, how many bitches are you fucking? Should be like 19 niggas? tracks long. <laughs> hey, yeah, bro. I'm like, how many, how many motherfuckers you killing? Like, how many niggas you got beef with, bro? So, and then, and then he'll do that same shit on the next fucking album, talking about some I'm original. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like, know you're not, nigga. But, um, but funny enough, uh, um, I was reacting to his shit. Motherfuckers was begging me to listen to that. Well, not begging, but you know what I'm saying? How niggas, uh, you know, a unified ask it to listen to some shit, right? So I'm listening to it. Eventually, I say to myself and to everybody else, I'm like, bruh, this is not good. This is trash. This is bad. I, I cut the fuck up on this nigga so bad. After that stream was done, niggas was commenting or, or, or hitting me up in my DMs talking about some, bro, I can't even fuck with Comet Z no more after what you said about him. I'm saying, damn, this nigga went from your favorite rapper to just an obscure <laughs> nigga. Yeah, right? You know crazy, what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like niggas started to fucking delete him from his, uh, delete him from their fucking uh, playlist because of me. I'm like, wow. damn. <laughs> like, I, what, what Kanye say? No one man should have all this power? Fucking right. That's Shit. like me. That's like me. and Because I like Insane Clown Posse. And I know. Ooh. Like everybody think they whack, but I like them niggas. I have always yeah. liked ICP. 
you rap critic actually did a um review him and his other his other dude turn them niggas ICP up. I think they did like a top ten stupidest ICP songs. The shit was funny to me because and the reason why it was so funny was because they was taking a song so serious and like my nigga, they're not like <laughs> the average rapper that's on some lyrical shit. They just playing this shit. So this it was they taking the shit too serious, analyzing each bar the niggas say. I'm like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> And like this shit is trash, trash, trash. But that shit is not gonna make me stop listening to the niggas. I think what it is though, like uh, from all of us who've had you know those experiences, I guess some people are just like. Feet. I was, what I said. I think what it is from all of us who've had that experience. I think it's because sometimes, like, like our viewers, when it comes to a song they fuck with, album or artist, they don't really be. Uh, recognizing the flaws that's in it they just like like something just for it to be or just because it sound good so when a nigga is like analyzing it be like bro he's saying this this and this like pointing out the flaws they be like damn i didn't even peep that shit was like that bad so like i think that's what it is <laughs> but that shit still should not like suede you to be like i ain't fucking with this shit no more that shit is crazy I mean, I, th- I, guess I think it should make that's it just how some it. people is i mean that's just how they is really can't change it you just, if that's what you if that's how you want to rock rock <laughs> I think it should help you look at it more objectively and be like, damn, this song is nowhere near as good as I thought. But it shouldn't make you stop liking it. Yeah. Um, but uh, to go back to the Gully Boy shit right quick, um, to reiterate on a story I'm sure all my subscribers already know about, and y'all probably know about it too, um, when he was doing a live stream. <laughs> so I'm sure, you know, my subscribers know about this shit. I'm sure y'all too probably maybe have heard about it depending on when the last time y'all checked out uh fantana was but he was doing a live stream and he was he had a bunch of his subscribers uh suggesting an artist that he listened to and they were spamming i mean different people all sorts of people were spamming uh this kid 16 year old artist red veil um and i've been pushing this nigga ever since i heard about him he's super talented if y'all ain't listened to him by the way uh you know um he, you know, he's like, oh, okay, well, let me just listen to this fucking kid. Like, he's mad as shit. Like, he's mad. <laughs> like, damn. Like, like, you, like, you, like, you you, asking your fucking subscribers to suggest you a fucking artist. They suggested you an artist, and you don't want to listen. So, he finally fucking listens. He listens to uh, Wait, one of his songs. He listens to Wait. So, he's listening and everything like that, talking. He's, he's literally bobbing his head, vibing to this shit. Talking about some this fucking sucks. Uh, the mixing shit, blah blah blah. Like, and he put up a poll <laughs> asking how the song sounds and everything. Like, mind you, when he was vibing to it, the poll was positive. They were saying the shit was fire. All of a sudden, everyone's talking about some L L L. It's actually tar- garbage. Like, you were literally just fucking sitting here, fucking. You know what I'm saying, shaking your head and everything. So, um, he's talking about some the mixing is shit. Uh, the vocals are bad. Blah blah blah. Like, he's literally just tearing this kid a new asshole, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? He's, and mind you, the kid's 16. The best thing you could do with somebody with your fucking following is to give this kid critical, you know what I'm saying? Criticism. Yeah, tell him what he can work on. Yeah. Give him some pointers. Yeah, kind of yeah give, him, give him some pointers. You're, oh, you're, you're the craziest part about this whole story, uh, Gully, because like because you got rid of Twitter, you wouldn't know. That nigga, Anthony Fantano, was actually trend, trending on Twitter the next morning after this live stream happened. People was flaming him for this shit. Yeah, that that's that's some that's some goofy shit because just like he said, you got a following, my nigga. Like you can't, and this and if this is somebody that's up and coming, that's gonna tarnish their shit. The kid, everybody, like, everybody, yeah. everybody took the everybody took the kid side though. That's why Fantano was training. People was like, bro, fuck that Fantano nigga, bro. Do your thing, little. Homie. Yeah, he was tripping on that one, bro. Yeah, and the sad part is that the, the even if it's kid. bad, like you you can you can you can say that you don't like some shit, but it's a way that you say it, like. Cause every time I every time I don't like some shit, I'll be like, I can't fuck with this. But I can understand if somebody do fuck with it. There's something out there for everybody to like. Just because I say that I don't fuck with some, don't mean that you can't fuck with it. It's just not for me. And I always tell, I always tell you niggas, keep grinding and doing what the fuck y'all doing, goddamn me. Cause y'all somewhere that I wanna be, shit. Fucking living in mansions, fucking fine ass hoes, goddamn me. Y'all, kudos to y'all <laughs> niggas, shit. <laughs> God damn me. Like y'all doing some right, shit. Just, just, but I just can't, I just can't fuck with it. That's all. That's all it is. 
So, Coach, you, this, did all, you did always look at Fantano sideways ever since that Red Bull shit happened? Um, that's what made me stop fucking with him altogether. But, uh, but I, I was watching him heavy before that shit. Uh, he's the type of guy who has his emotions on his sleeve, and he's, he definitely seems like a chill guy. But, again, when someone has a really fucking large following, they tend to feel they nuts more. Like, they tend to fuck with themselves more than, you know what I'm saying, than they would, like, someone at my level. I had 7,000 subs and, you know what I'm saying, my engagement is, you know what I'm saying, lower than the average YouTubers. I can respond to everybody and be positive and shit and not be feeling like a celebrity. A nigga like Dante started off low and, you know, oh, you know, uh, he's talking to everybody and shit. Now, motherfucker, uh, you know what I'm saying, niggas blowing his shit up and now he, probably, he talked to like probably two niggas a day. Niggas turn into celebrities once they get this big attention and they don't give a fuck no more. They can say whatever the fuck they want. And these niggas will still fuck with them. Why do you think ca- cancel culture don't work, bro? It don't matter how many times you say, fuck this nigga, fuck this nigga, fuck this nigga. His subscriber count didn't move, not fucking once. The, all them times and them niggas were saying, fuck this nigga. So guess what? And them niggas was doing that shit to create a buzz. All it did was create more attention for T- Fantano. More, more niggas probably is checking him out now than they probably were before. And that, that nigga's fine. And guess what? Red Veil's career has not fucking changed. He's still in the same fucking lane that he was before, and guess what? Yeah, niggas probably taking his side, but guess what? The niggas ain't listening to his music. So, motherfuckers took the kid's side, but motherfuckers didn't go on listening to fucking Red Veil. They wasn't trying to fucking, you know what I'm saying, get his career back cracking or get it started or anything like that, and that shit would have really helped that kid's career out. He's sick Again, he's 16 with a tons of fucking talent. Nah, if that nigga was talking about popping perks and sipping lean and shit, y'all, hell yeah. That would have been a whole different story. Yeah, yeah that nigga, that nigga, that nigga would have been nominated for a Grammy right the fuck now, but um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it all, it all, like, again, these motherfuckers have celebrity feels to their names now. I can't do the same shit that Fantano's doing. If I fucking rag on a fucking kid like that, I have zero subscribers now. Motherfuckers don't wouldn't want to like I'm I'm practically a nobody. So motherfuckers wouldn't stay on my side. But say I made the same, say Fantano would make the same mistakes that I do. They forgiving this nigga, they're gonna fucking hit him up talking about some oh man, huh? Well, we're sorry we said all those things in private, but in fucking in the public, they're gonna be all oh, hey, fuck you. Oh, you ain't shit but a bitch. Fuck, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, bro, it's snakes everywhere. Hey, Fantano is his channel's not going nowhere. It's not. He's never getting canceled. That man is gonna stay on for the rest of his fucking YouTube career. He's gonna continue to. And niggas think that the, the shit he does is funny when he ranks a nigga's album bad. The artists be actually seeing this shit. Fantano has been mentioned by Eminem before. So I'm pretty sure because that nigga Eminem is one of the most sensitive rappers in the game. <laughs> to, the, yeah, to, this day, to this day, you still think you're afraid of Nick Cannon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That nigga Eminem, that nigga on, on his albums, he fucking he going at the he going at the fans and shit. That's how you know that nigga's sensitive, bro. Like, bro, you, you win it. What the fuck? That's the crazy part about that. Eminem you, used to use Eminem used to be the king of Mr. I don't give a fuck. And then like, Oh me. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, what are you now you all about these critics fucking talking about me? Fuck man, like <laughs> ass song, Clearly you so paid attention shit. to this shit, talking about I don't care, but you listening to what they saying. And niggas tried to tell me Eminem don't even be on the internet. That's a goddamn lie. <laughs> you know damn well that nigga watch every reaction video, every review. <laughs> he went in on the uh, he made a he said something about the YouTubers talking about some uh. That's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> he said you make a he was like you make a shitty review, get your uh ten cents or a few or something. I don't know what the fuck he said. Amir probably remember the fucking bar, but I man, he was, I ain't he was listening to new Eminem in a minute. I don't remember nothing about that on, music to be murdered album. I don't remember nothing about that shit. Because because that's nah, like was, Amir just said. Or even was the, I don't give a fuck, nigga. Fuck these, nigga. Fuck these critics. Now you, you want you, you, you care about what critics say now, nigga? <laughs> like, oh, y'all don't yeah. like my new music? Well, fuck you guys too, then. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you didn't care, nigga. <laughs> right, cuz. And then, and then, even if motherfuckers don't like your music, you still win it. He can put out, uh, he can put out an album, and that motherfucker still go platinum. Like, just, off, just off his name, yeah. Just off his name. I'm like, bro, you 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 won. You're 
You the goat. What the fuck? You want you? He literally want niggas to bow down and kiss his feet. <laughs> like, nah, my nigga. <laughs> the fuck. Y'all gotta realize, bro. Kamikaze literally was made off of fucking. Just anger from that from Alabama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that nigga literally sat there, bro. He literally sat there. Eminem literally said on the album that he was waiting for everyone to talk their shit about the fucking revival album. And when everyone stopped, it was time for him to make this Kamikaze album. He literally said that shit on one of the fucking songs. He was waiting for everyone to stop talking shit. He he literally went on like fucking twelve celebrities. All the motherfuckers talking shit, the YouTubers, Charlemagne. I know we got him, Joe. <laughs> Hell yeah, he he's what well, he fuck he said. Uh, the closest hits. The closest things that uh, well, see that, that goes to say to that that nigga yeah. Eminem got a bunch of yes men around him. Like, if my homeboy put out put out some shit that's whack, I'm gonna tell that nigga, bro. Like, nah, this ain't it, cuz that nigga Eminem, he just got all yes men around. Like, yeah, this shit's fire, him. Yeah, this shit's dope. Yeah, you think so? Yeah, man, put it out. <laughs> and here's the thing. Uh, here's the thing about him. Just me. Uh, I mean, the thing about Eminem, just like me, just reading like certain interviews he's been in, like certain like just articles and shit about him. Eminem is a very, very strong perfectionist. That nigga doesn't put out anything unless he thinks it's great. So whenever he releases something that's bad, like I know you knew this shit was garbage, <laughs> and you put the shit, right. you put you the shit out anyway. You knew this shit was trash. You put it out anyway. So like I know you heard the shit a million times, and you chose to keep. And it. And I so, just don't like that nigga's whole new flow. Like the whole he ain't used to do that shit back in the day, bro. Like I don't, I, I can't get with that, bro. And that's how all these lyrical niggas want to sound. To think that they some on some nigga, y'all niggas ain't fucking lyrical. You saying a bunch of mumble jumble shit. <laughs> but this is why you gotta watch the season one episode. We was talking because like, like the, what season one was about. Um, that's so. all that nigga Eminem do now. And I don't nigga go back to he ain't gonna go back to that shit. Oh, he's not, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> what season one, what season one was about? Me and Culture was talking about our definition of different terms using hip hop like goat, legend, underrated, trash, overrated, and then we talked about lyrical, spiritual. That was one of the funniest episodes from last season. 